the day has come, September 1st, archery and archery, 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 archery opener, elk and deer. Well, September 1 is here, that means archery deer and archery elk both open today. I'm going to go out, sit in a little stick blind we made last year, we have this buck we call split brow. Uh, third year we've seen him and had a bunch of pictures of him so hopefully with a little luck he'll come in this morning the elk are starting to fire up too there's a lot of elk in the area so I don't have an archery elk tag obviously but I got a rifle one so it's kind of a scouting always a scouting trip as well but time will tell we'll see you out there Six thirty, seven o'clock. But thought I better sit a little bit longer. Well, pack her up and head back. Come back tonight and go after the big five or drop time buck. It's the plan. So it's a good spot. He's just only been split brows. Only been coming through every couple weeks or so. Well, Ryan's dropping me off. I'm going in the spot where the old drop tine and straight five's been, so see what happens. I haven't sat here in a couple years. Ryan's gonna go try to kill Split Brow with a little luck. We're gonna put down a couple velvet bucks tonight. Fingers crossed. I just got up in the stand. Got the tree arm rigged onto the stand here, kind of funky but I think it'll work. It's not super solid but more than likely they're, if anything comes they're going to walk this trail so I'll just leave it set up on the trail. Won't be the greatest footage for you guys but I'll do my best. It's about 5.30. They've been coming through between 6 and 8 most nights so we'll see what happens.
Well, it is September 2nd. I decided to skip the stand this morning and go scouting instead. I'm gonna go for a little hike, but I saw a pretty good bull this morning. It just was too dark to video. I could see him good through the binox. Heavy, pretty wide, good manes, good tine length. Just a solid, probably 330 bull. But might get a better look at him here in a little bit. Do some glassing. See what happened. Well, I didn't see anything else on my hike this morning. So I switched areas and I'm gonna go check this camera down by this water hole that's been loaded with bulls lately. So see if anything real big showed up. September 3rd, back at it. I'm gonna scout this morning and try to glass up a mule deer or whitetail to sneak on this afternoon, so should be a good day. I hate to call it a cold front, but it's been like high 80s and 90s, and today the high is in the low 70s, so we're calling it a cold front. But the elk have been starting to fire off pretty good starting to see some little bit better age class bulls so hopefully we can pin down a big boy I think <clears throat> I officially just saw the first bull that I would pull the trigger on. Real solid, big framed, probably 330 bull. He's so hard not, not to shoot him though, big old main beams. A little bit short on his vibes, but really nice bull. He's on some private, but there's public right next to it. I think they just come down these private meadows at night, so. He hangs out here. Chances are, if nobody shoots him on the private, I'll we'll have a chance at him if he's still around here in October. But they actually just went on to public where they crossed the fence down there. So, yeah. 
Good times. Just heard a bugle that sounded nasty. I'm gonna go up here and see if I can get a look. I don't see, didn't see any hunters or hear any hunters in the area, so. If I do, I'll back out. Don't wanna mess up anyone's hut. I saw the smaller bull, but the bigger bull, at least by the sounds of it, is up over this bridge. Had a yearling just about run me over. Two spike coming in. I'm gonna sneak up here and see if I can get a look at him. Sounds like a mature bull, but you never know. Never did see the bigger bull, just the, there was a small, I think he was just a small six, but a little fun. It's fire, fired up in the hills. I'm just going to take a second to tell you, I know a lot of uh, guys get discouraged when they're scouting in, oh, July and August and having trouble finding elk. And don't worry, I have trouble finding elk then too. It's tough. But one of the best things you can do is just scout for like year old sign, like rut sign, shredded trees, and you name it, old elk poop, whatever. This area I'm in right now is just tore up with old elk sign. And I've hunted in here before, but if I was new, to the area about a month ago and walked through here I would have seen all that sign and been putting it on the radar but just a little simple tip might help help a guy find the elk come September when season opens anyhow back to the truck a couple close encounters this morning but neither of them are bulls that I'm looking for so I'm gonna get out of here. Dang elk keep interrupting my 
working class bow hunter podcast I'm listening to. And I'm okay with that. But I'm going to go listen to the end of it now. All that move areas. Check them out, by the way. Best podcasts out there. That's all I got. I'm going to go glass up some, try to glass up some mule deer here in a minute, but thought I'd go check this one camera quick before I go out of here. Put it up a couple weeks ago. Kind of random spot. They were logging the other side of it. There's a piece of logging machinery right here, so looks like they're gonna log this too. <clears throat> but we'll see if there's anything on it. If not, I'll probably just pull it and put it somewhere else. They logged right up to here, right up to my camera. But they haven't got any further yet. No, there wasn't anything good on this camera since they're logging in here. Not that it really scares the animals away, but I'm gonna move it somewhere else where I feel is better. This spot was super random anyhow, so. Go try to find the big mealy buck now. Well, I just glassed for about an hour. I didn't turn up any of the big mule deer bucks. I'm sure I would if I sat here all day and glassed, but I think I'm gonna go check some more cameras and get a couple new cameras set. Cause at the end of the day, I can deer hunt every year and I can't elk hunt every year. So better take advantage of my scouting opportunity. But it was worth a shot. If I would've got here a little sooner and caught them on their feet, it would've made it a little easier, but got in on the elk, couldn't leave, happened. I'm gonna go put up a camera on this water hole that my dad hunted like 10 years ago when he had his archery tag. But I'm gonna bring my bow just in case big whitetail stands up. Cause you know, if you don't have it, that's when it'll happen. So by bringing it, I should secure the opportunity to not see anything, but whatever. Just put this camera up. There's a big time wallow, a little wet spot right here. And they've been hitting it pretty solid. There's a little spot over there too they've been hitting, so I set the camera up so it'll pretty much capture the whole thing. Still have some hot days left and they should definitely be hitting this. We'll come back and check it in a couple weeks and go from there. It's always fun when you put a camera up and like day three, a bull wrecks it, ruins it, and it flips it over so it takes no pictures for the last month. Good times. Off to the next one. Hasn't been my day on the camera front been striking out hard, but I'm gonna go hike into the big valley where we have four cameras. Haven't been in there in almost a month. And last time we rearranged some stuff, so hopefully that will produce, but regardless, saw that nice bull this morning, got in a little bugle in action, could be worse, could be at work. But we'll check these cameras, then I'll be pretty well caught up, so I don't know if I'll make it out for a couple weeks, but that'll be all right, because I'll be pretty much ready to rock. We'll check some cameras again. I always say that I probably won't make it out, but I usually find a way. Anyhow, hopefully one of these four cameras I'm hiking back into produce. Just got done checking camera number one. A couple small bulls. A bunch of wind pictures. This grass got really tall in here. <clears throat> I should have moved my camera, but that would have made too much sense, so. I'm deleting them. I pulled this camera down. I think the target area is gonna be over kind of where we have the other cameras. So we'll go check those ones next, and I think I might throw one on that wallow I found on the way in right off the main trail. 
so hopefully you keep people are honest and don't take my camera but that wall is blown up so we'll see what kind of bulls hitting it got one more water tank camera to check when I got up on top of this hill earlier I looked down and these wallows are ginormous so I was gonna move my camera onto the wallows then I realized somebody has a camera there so I won't be that guy but chances are if they hit the wallows they probably hit the water tank too because it's right next to them but yeah there's as you can see giant wallows camera that guy's camera is right there good spot I was gonna put mine there originally but I knew they wouldn't be wallowing for a while so I put it on the water tank the anticipations to move it but I never got it moved before somebody beat me to it, but that is a giant wallow, holy cow. Huge wallow. That guy got pictures of me video and he's probably like, what the heck? If you're watching this, nice spot, my friend. Well, I just got to the camera. The chip's still in it, so that's good. It's still here. There's the water tank giant wallows right over here but hopefully they came and got a drink in between wallowing well there's a little action on this one one bull that looks pretty dang good his fronts are crazy they like curve way up I don't know if you can see that or not but it's a pretty solid bull Nonetheless, I never got a full body shot of him, but there's a couple other ones at the water tank. All of them just covered in mud. That's a pretty good sign. I'd like to move my camera onto that wallow, but... I don't want to be that guy, but I have a pretty good feeling that guy that put him up has no idea I even have a camera here because this one's really hidden. Unless you walk to this water tank, you would never see it. And he didn't because I didn't have any pictures of him, so. Yep, that's the story. It's funny how you hike back in like a mile thinking that you got this secret spot and nobody else will be at. And then you find the camera. But they got just as much right to be here as I do. I've just been trying to stay out of here as much as possible. Or I would have probably had my camera on that wallow sooner. But you snooze, you lose, I guess. Try to do the right thing, it ends up being the wrong thing. I'm gonna hike back out to the truck head home. It's been a long, hot day. Got a lot accomplished. Saw Shooter Bull this morning. So, we'll drum it up as a success. I had an archery tag. I put a tree stand right here. And it would go down. But I don't have archery tags. More than likely, this is just a staging area. So, I have a feeling come October that there's not going to be very many elk in here. Mainly because there's very, very few cows that I've seen. Just kind of all bulls. A little pre-rut staging area. Wallow and hang out. Go find the ladies and come back and cool off. But hopefully I'm wrong. Guess we'll see. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more. Whew. 
long hot hike out of here. Over and out.